I remember when I was young, my dad would come home from work and he used to love to do this thing where I would be, you know, playing in my room and he used to sneak up behind me with his shoes off, one shoe in each hand, and smack them together as hard as he possibly could. And it would scare the hell out of me. And I don't know why he got he got the biggest kick out of it. He would just be just laughing. And he'd just go, hey Trap, how's your day? <laughs> it was the weirdest thing. And I don't know why I think of his memory of him. I don't know, I'd like to think that maybe there's a maybe there's a bigger life lesson in there, you know? We're gonna go through scary things in this life. But all that matters is that you're smiling after it. He was diagnosed with prostate cancer when I was 21. And I remember after he was diagnosed, life got pretty awful. Lots of sleepless nights, anxiety. I mean, this man's my hero and you hear the word cancer and life suddenly turns into a nightmare. Anyone who's ever known anyone that's gone through cancer treatment knows how much of an evil that disease is. Watching the deterioration of someone I love was the worst experience ever. I got a call early that morning. I don't remember what time it was. It was my mom. Um, I don't remember what she said to me. I, I just, she didn't have to say anything. I knew it was time. I remember when he took his last breath. I remember saying goodbye to him. I remember my mom screaming. I remember falling to the floor and clawing at the carpet. I'm not really sure why I was doing that, but I remember that. I was diagnosed with PTSD after that, which to me was just ridiculous because I didn't go to war or anything. Yeah, something awful happened to me, but Something awful happens to everyone. So they gave me a bunch of antidepressants and I couldn't be bothered with that. I flushed them all down the toilet. Instead, I started working and I started working hard and shooting everything I could. I kind of used it as a distraction, but I don't know if distraction is the right word because I always felt like it was my therapy. You know, some people do yoga, some people meditate. Mine was grabbing a camera and just going out and filming whatever I could. I came to this weird spot in my life where I knew I wanted to do something more with my work, but I wasn't really sure what that was. And that's when I had my first meeting with N-Pain. After my first meeting with N-Pain, I remember being really excited. It was like an excitement I hadn't felt in a really long time. Capturing stories of pain and healing is really interesting to me because we all have something going on. We, everyone's going through something, but we just don't express it to each other. And that's what the Spotlight series is all about, providing a platform for people to share and learn and relate. And I really didn't feel like I could ask people to share some of the most personal things that have ever happened to them without sharing what I've been through myself.